hello welcome to my channel in today's video i'll be showing you how to make this photo manipulation in curl draw okay text masking okay so now we have our image so you just import your image uh, whatever you want to use and you type in the text so we are using this is banana so we're going to type in the text banana uh, big no do tight okay so just increase your font to the size of your image all right so the next thing we are going to do now is to call up the envelope too so select the envelope so now you can double click to delete this node okay double click to delete this node same way you can double click to add a node so you can click and drag to adjust this node to fit in quite well so you can add a node where you have a curve you can actually zoom in to have a better view you align this properly okay pick your handle then i can move this up here do the same thing for this point okay now i have all of this as a curve so i just click and drag i can change them to a line is a curve so that sits well so i can add a node here to just adjust so this is fine now so the next thing we are going to do is to duplicate this truth ctrl c to copy okay and for the one that is here we are going to power clip it so go out to object power clip place inside frame power clip this uh, press ctrl v we have something on the clipboard so push it backward shift page down to take it backward okay page down to take it backward so the next thing we are going to do on the text you select the text that so we are going to apply a contour outside if you apply the contour outside you can increase the no uh, just one step uh, you can increase the size if you choose to so i'm just going to leave it at 30. okay now we'll break this contour a path what that does is going to separate it from the text so now with this selected we select the fruits the image behind and uh, trim from the property bar you select click on trim then you can delete this so you see what we have here so we can go into this part clip and uh, increase this image a little adjust this the reason is because i don't want to have any rough edges showing so then on this outer part i can delete this okay can delete all these other extras okay so this is how we achieve this um i can put up a background on it to have a nice finish page down select okay this is okay use the fill and um elliptical fountain fill okay so we have this here uh i'm going to make it to be smooth so i have the smooth selection so i'm going to increase this just have this nice blend this is cool then take a circle i just want to make a shadow here so it appears very nice and real go to effect and um, select blur gaussian blur 
Okay. Uh, just to your taste, whatever. Okay. I can reduce this. Reduce this further. Okay, so this is how we achieve this. Uh, let me reduce the blur. It seems to be so much. A little bit more. Okay, can duplicate this and reduce it a little. Okay, so this is it. Now you can put up your text or whatever you want to do. So this is how to achieve this. I can take up this view. From here, I can also take up this. It's looking a bit clumsy. Take this up. So we have this nicely done. So if you have any question, something you're confused about, drop your question in the comment section. Give this video a thumbs up if you find it interesting. Have any question, drop it uh, and I'll be there to answer you. Thank you very much for watching and see you in my next video. Bye for now.